You got some more now? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, this is Numbers 12, 1, and I'm going to read the 10. It says, <clears throat> And Miriam and Aaron spent against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married the Ethiopian woman. Stop. He married what? Ethiopian. Ethiopian. I thought I thought we can't have an Israelite. Was not Moses the servant of Yahweh Baal Shami Hawashai? Huh. Wasn't he a good servant of Yahweh Baal Shami Hawashai? Yeah. And what did he do to Miriam because she spoke up about Moses' woman? You fucking idiot. Keep going. And they said, Have the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Have he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek above mm -hmm. all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron. And unto Miriam came out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation, and they and they three came out, and the Lord came down in a pillar of a cloud of the cloud, and stood in the door of the tabernacle, and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth, and he said, Hear how my words, no, hear, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him mm -hmm. in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. Keep going. My servant Moses is not so, mm. who is faithful in my in my house. Stop. The Most High said, "My servant Moses is not so. I speak to him faithful, face to face, and he is faithful in my house." Come Which on. means. Him having that Ethiopian woman was not going off. Mm -hmm. But by your doctrine, the, do the commandments and doctrines of devils and commandments of men, you say that we going off. <laughs> you see how foolish you've gotten? Keep it going. With him will I speak mouth, uh, mouth to mouth, mm -hmm. even uh, apparently and not in dark uh, speeches and the semi- Similitude? Yeah, similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore, <clears throat> then we, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Mm -hmm. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked up upon, upon Miriam, and behold... She was leprous. Stop. Now, brother, if you don't stop, you're going to turn white. <laughs> and that proves another, that also proves that the so-called white man is a curse. Yep. Every time anybody did something, he turned, when, when Moses first went, he turned his hand white. Then he turned Miriam white. So that he turned, turned Abraham's uh, hand white. Huh? Right. He said, put your hand on your bosom. Right. And turn that. That was Moses. Huh? That was Moses? No. Wasn't it Moses? No, it was Abraham. Abraham. Like it was Moses. No, it was Moses? Moses? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Moses, Still locked uh, up. Put his hand in his bosom when he went to the spot. Well, uh, yeah. He turned Moses' hand when he also did the man. That proves that uh, being white is a fucking flag. Play. Come on. Solomon! This thing is a fucking fool. Yeah, why you want to play? Yeah, I need to play. 
Let's go with the. Uh, He's simple. He's simple. But he what? Uh, I'm gonna see what Meyer. He means. reading the book right. Cause he asks, what's the definition of Meyer? Yep. Bring it out, brother. Let's see what the definition of Meyer means. Bring it out, brother. You got another scripture? Uh, so I think we're just about done. It's like um, maybe one or two more. Chief Martin, here real quick. Mm -hmm. Chief Martin. Alright. Let's get this freezing right now. Let's see if I can get it real quick. Oh, yeah, please. Please. The water. <laughs> <laughs> Mar, spoil, and tear. That's all it's going for Mar. Alright, so basically if you line yourself up, and you mourn yourself. Mm -hmm. That's basically an Egyptian custom. Thank mm -hmm. you. Alright, the Egyptians did that shit, man. We, we don't do that. All right. we, we give out the, 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 um, the word of Yahweh Ba'a Shami HaShah in spirit and in truth. We don't edge up our beards. We're the image of Yahweh Ba'a Shami HaShah. If you didn't have no edge up, so why the hell are you edged up? All right. To the best of our abilities. He also didn't have a house, but you see that we're in a house. Should I, should I go ahead and leave the house I'm in? To, you know, to be more in an embodiment? If the Most High permits it, I will do it. All right. Like when he gave me the job and then he said, leave that job, I left it. Right. Right. You you niggas, if the most I told y'all to, the most I, actually, let me rephrase that, the most I've been telling you niggas in Nate's camp, leave Nate alone. Mm -hmm. But y'all don't want to hearken on to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shah. Y'all want to do that, whatever the hell y'all want to do, man. And that's your problem, that's your downfall. Damn, I want to, down. I want to see the part where he's talking. Oh, you want another part? Where he butchered the name. Oh, when he yeah. uh, fucked up the name? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 let's get back into it. Hold on, I'm sorry. That thing was freezing. Yeah. Alright, um... Look out. I got starting to ask. Okay. What'd you say, bro? Oh, I was saying, uh... About what he said about the niggas in the camp. This is, uh... This is, this is Acts 5 and 29. Then Peter and other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The guys in that camp, they were obeying Nate and those officers and lieutenants or whatever else they have, mm -hmm. rather than the Most High. They obeyed him. Mm -hmm. Instead of studying to show their own stuff, if they mm -hmm. were studying, they would know that. Scriptures was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Mm -hmm. and obviously, the words have changed, but the definitions have changed. But they're not looking up the words. Oh. Yeah, you might as well read that too, right there. We got it out early, but you read it again. First Maccabees two and twenty one. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the ordinances and the order ordinances. We will not hearken to the king's words to go for our to go from our religion either on the right hand or to the left. Right. So we're not gonna follow man. We're gonna follow the words of the scriptures. Tom. That king is basically like lost the truth of this world. Yep. White man. Of anybody. Even the ones like Nate. He 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 using right. he basically the truth king over but it. using uh his he putting his own philosophies on it. Mm -hmm. He's putting his own little interpretations and taking the name out. So he's he still doing a custom of the custom under the shit too, man. They paid him to do it any fucking way. Huh? Uh, I said, I want to get another thing now that we was That's what I'm trying to get out right now. That's what I'm trying because, to get out Because, uh, you know, some of the, I've seen a couple of brothers, man, with them edge ups and, you know what I'm saying, they was trying to edify, but when they when they came at the brothers, you know what I'm saying, why y'all get the edge up, you know what I'm saying, they said it was for the job. And that's really no excuse, because basically you choosing money over the most high. The Come. most high said don't edge up your head. That means don't edge up your head for nobody or nothing. Come. You go on that job, and then motherfuckers say, uh, we don't allow you to have your beard. 
I appreciate your time. You have a nice day. You get the hell out of there. Yep. Because that means the most high they want you to get that job. You don't cut your beard for no white man. This ain't mm-hmm. nothing but a test. Exactly. exactly. Everything is a test, man. Yep. He's testing yep. everybody. He tests everything. Come on. Right. So it's up to you. He give you the thought, and it's up to you to make the decision, man. Because yep. we're, we're being tried in the fire right now, man. All right? So when that martial law fire come, we ain't gonna even threat, man. And I ain't even gonna, I'm not even gonna shake about that. Huh. Huh? Right. Why? Because I got complete faith in Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh That's right. All right. And now uh, he said that the just shall live by faith, which means if I'm living by it, man, that's all I need. Mm-hmm. That, that's that's my food, man. That's my shelter. That's my sword. All right. That's my, that's my lover. That's everything, man. All right. We would say we would say that's our shield, but we at this at that time we ain't gonna need no shield. But it, it's still it's still our shield. It's still our shield, you know, because it, it's our shelter, all right. Anytime we get into something, we don't even have to say the name out loud. We can have the name right here, and the Most High hears us, man. See, unlike you niggas, y'all can't even say the name. Every time y'all try to say the name, y'all y'all end up trying to fuck up with the name, man. Right. That nigga calling the other brother simple. Yeah, when you, that nigga is the simple one because he's coming with scripture and you going off scripture, bro. He's trying to clean it up. You you was fucking it up and he was trying to clean it up. Huh. And then when he tried to break up something, you were going to another whole subject. Oh, why you ain't got your friends on? And he, he ain't saying about no but, but, but wait, wait. Did he say? Didn't he say why you jumping? Exactly. But why he jump? Because he got his ass whipped. Exactly. That's why. And Nate's camp, y'all known for getting your ass whipped, man. <laughs> By little simpletons, man. People that's not even truly, truly, fully in yet, man. Now, I give that brother a lot of props because he went up uh, against you guys in spirit and in truth. And he got the teachings from the elders of Great Millstone, all right? And the brothers of, of Great Millstone, all right? Which is a beautiful thing. But I believe that that brother studied to show himself approved. He ain't no mockingbird for Elder Tahar, man. None of us are mockingbirds for Elder Tahar. None of us are mockingbirds for Elder Gabar, Elder Ariyamla, Elder Elder um, Yachanan, Elder Tazadakba. All right, we're not mockingbirds, okay, okay. man. Well, we got, you got it. Definition. You have to understand. You got to be learned and uh, have ears to hear to actually get this one because it is kind of. Is it in Greek or is it in uh, uh, Hebrew? This, no, it's in. Uh, I didn't get that. Should be in uh, Hebrew, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, Leviticus. Oh, that's written in Hebrew. Yeah. Okay, Mar. Definition of Mar. It says round the corners. Everybody know what round means. He's talking about edging up. You gotta use fucking today's term. Mar means it says to destroy, to corrupt, go to ruin, decay, to be marred, be spoiled, be corrupt, be corrupt. Shaha. Shaha. Mm-hmm. To injure, be ruined, be rotted. Alright, that's the uh the blue letter definition. So this is the English definition of Mar. Come on. Okay, uh, to ruin the beauty of perfection of mm. something, to hurt or damage the good condition of something. So, basically, the Most High made us the way He made us. Come. So by edging yourself up, you're ruining, you're ruining it. the perfection, Come. the beauty that He thinks you're beautiful. Come. So that's basically what He's talking about. Yep. So, uh, what the fuck was you niggas doing? Y'all don't even know the breakdown of a fucking Mar, man. Y'all don't know no breakdowns of words. Y'all don't know breakdowns of scripture. All y'all know is whatever Daddy Nate told you. <laughs> all right? That's all you zombies know. Is whatever, whatever Daddy Nate says goes. Mm-hmm. All right? Y'all don't follow Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Y'all don't even follow your so-called Jesus in Christ. Mm-hmm. Y'all follow Daddy Nate. Daddy Nate says, you niggas is going off. Cornelius is the Israelite. Months later, up oh, no, actually, Cornelius is an Israelite. 
yeah, that's the only thing he got right, that Cornelius was an Israelite, but you could, he was preaching that you could rape little nine-year-old girls. Not once did they preach that you could rape nine-year-old right. girls. But thus says the Bible, if a woman, if a young woman is 12 and she's past the flower of her age, which means she had her menstrual cycle, and she wants to get married, there's nothing wrong with that. Of the damsel? Nothing right. wrong with that. Right? And the rape, to be raped, is to be seized, man. It's not sexual. Alright? Like pedophile. Pedophile has nothing to do with sexual. Pedo comes from the Latin pedo, which means adolescent or child, and philia right. comes from the Latin, which means unusual traction. So it's an unusual traction to a adolescent child. It has nothing to do with sex, you fucking idiots. It's like um, a teacher. Huh. I mean, they have unusual relations with y'all because they're around so much. So yep. they love the children a lot more than uh, a usual adult you think should yep. be close to a child. But you don't call a teacher a pedophile because she's around little kids all day and a lot of them enjoy it. Right. Wouldn't that be called a pedophile? Mm-hmm. But no, they, they, they twist up the words, man. And Nate's camp, y'all love twisting up words. Because everything in this world is uh, corrupted. So anytime you say anything, the first thing that pops up in a person's mind is sex. Yep. Period. It's corruption. Man. You know what I mean? They think you the be, worst things. Yeah. You be talking to a little kid and say, oh, go get that ball. And the first thing a nigga's going to nigga just start laughing. He, 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 like, Dude. he told him to go and touch his ball. <laughs> no, he course. didn't, man. <laughs> he was out of course. Exactly. Everything's oh, out of man. course. What's that Everything's what's out of course. What were we looking up earlier about the damsel? Um, it was a loop, right? Or mark. It was a mark. Uh, let me get to that. You had something to bring up? It was out of course. The earth got a fucking crook in its neck. And the most are gonna straighten that bitch right all night. Clean <laughs> 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 it out. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nuclear destruction. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> I can't wait, man. I want this shit to happen real soon. Shit. Most well, probably gonna be like the chiropractor. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, everybody keep playing around. Mm. It's not coming to me, and I thought I had it in here too. You just read it. I know. Now that's the problem. I didn't write it down. I thought you wrote it down, bro. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Just go on. You got the definition that video. Still, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, find the video again. Right. No, because that was going on what you were saying about the age of a damsel. That's why I want to bring it out. Oh, okay. Alright, this is the definition of damsel. A young woman. A young unmarried woman of a noble birth. Mm -hmm. And then the online etymology dictionary is from Old French, Damiciel, which means young unmarried lady. Mm -hmm. Young unmarried lady, alright? So, a damsel is just a young woman, right? Which means if she's 13 and she had her period then she's a damsel now. But if she's 15 and she still haven't had her period, technically she's still a little girl. She's not a woman. She's not a damsel. She's just a little girl. Alright? So if a man doesn't uh, have his wet dream, so like the, if a boy never has a wet dream, then he doesn't become a man until he has that wet dream. Alright? Once he has that wet dream, he starts growing a little bit more and more hair. He starts... Uh, his voice starts changing, his attitude starts changing, he starts becoming like a man. The same thing with the females, all right? Certain females, they, they before they even um, um, uh, have their cycle, they're already produced big tits and, and, and cakes and ass and everything, man. But they're still a little girl. Just because she got tits don't mean that she's a grown woman, man. She's still a little girl. If she never had her period, even if she's at the age of 21, she's still considered, in the most high eyes, a little girl. All right. You remember where that's at? This is Mark chapter 5, verse 37. Mm -hmm. He suffered no man. So, like, let me start with, uh, yeah, let me start with 37. And he okay, suffered right. no man to follow him, save, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he cometh to the house 
of the ruler of the synagogue and seeth the tomblet and and them that wept and wailed greatly and when he was come in he saith unto them why make ye this ado and weep the damsel is not dead but asleep what's the definition of a damsel again um damsel a young unmarried woman of noble birth a young unmarried woman Mm -hmm. So she's a woman, but she's a young woman at the time. Um, and they laughed, and they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them up all out, he taketh the father and mother of the damsel, and then they and them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Top. I the Kama Kuma, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And straight away the damsel arose and walked, for she was the age of twelve. And they, and they were astonished with a great astonishment. Let me read the last one. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it, and commanded them. And commanded that some that something should be given her to eat. Come, huh. why? So the damsel was the age of twelve. Mm -hmm. The definition of damsel is a young unmarried woman. Mm -hmm. So she was a young unmarried woman. She was the age of twelve. So that proves that a woman, a female, is considered a woman once they pass the flower of their age. Come, huh. they have their period. Yep, and they're no longer a little girl.